welcome back Seltzer Nation to Seltzer Sunday. Today we're bringing you a very, very special edition. This is the grill out edition. Now grill outs usually go with beer, but we're gonna actually pair today seltzers and grill. So tune in. We're going with our wild basin boozy water today. They're circling back to uh, one we've done before, but today we're doing the variety pack edition. This is their original pack, mix pack. So let's see what they got. All right, everybody, welcome back. Whiskey Vin, AKA Chef Vin. We're uh, be prepping some of our food here today. Uh, we're gonna go with just some simple stuff. We're gonna uh, grill out some sausages first. We got these, uh, this is actually going with the wild boar sausage. Uh, over here on ice, uh, we got some shrimp and some frog legs. So we're going, uh, we're going a little bit of both, a little surf and turf here for Seltzer Sunday to pair with our uh, Wild Basin boozy water. Uh, we're actually going to crack some of those soon and uh, see what uh, see what they taste like. All right, Vinny, what we got here going on today, man? All right, got some frog legs, shrimp like we did last time, then some wild boar sausage, all cooked in avocado oil. Now for the seasoning, we're going to be using some. Uh, oh, for the shrimp we're going to be using some chili lime seasoning blend with a little bit of uh black black peppercorns and then top it off with some smokehouse maple with the frog legs we're going to go with some garlic powder some brown sugar and we're going to add a little bit of the chili lime on half of them just to see how it goes and then for the sauces we're just going to kind of leave alone just gonna kind, of, kind of leave it alone, just because we're just we just want to see how the uh, uh, wild boar tastes. Yeah, and what are you so. gonna be uh, sampling while you uh, make this? Uh, you're gonna have some of uh, the go back to the berry pack of the wild basin. I see you got that in the back. Yeah, I think so. I think we're gonna try this out. It's a strawberry coconut. We're just gonna see how it goes. Just uh, yeah. you know. Now this might this is gonna be a bonus review. We're doing the original pack today, but uh, we're also gonna we have found this left over in the seltzer fridge, so. You never know what you're gonna get on seltzer Sunday. Could be shrimp and seltzer could be the next big thing. Okay, special, special uh, alert here. This is the uh, bonus guest review today by Chef Boy RV, Vincent Herrera, AKA Whiskey Vin. He's here to Give us one little review on this wild basin strawberry coconut. So uh, we found this uh, leftover from the pack we did a couple weeks ago. We just did one out of the that, but this is out of their berry pack for anyone who's uh, interested in wild basin boozy. Benny, go ahead, buddy. We got a strawberry coconut. It's come from the St. Vrain River in the Colorado mountains. So it's got about five percent, hundred calories. Twelve fluid ounce, also three hundred fifty-five milliliters. Okay, I really get the strawberry, not so much the coconut, but it's a pretty smooth initial taste. A little bit of a sweet aftertaste, kind of you, kind of the strawberry. Uh, I'm gonna give this probably a seven, seven five. Five. Seven five. It's um, I'm probably not gonna have a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, something I would have, have outside. Now we are so, grilling today. Is this something? While this is you something grill? you know. I would definitely grill with. Okay. I would definitely have this while grilling. Perfect. Seven point five here, folks. You heard it first. is heating up we're smoking we're getting ready uh, but first I want to introduce our four flavors from this uh, wild basin boozy original mix pack so coming first is the classic lime uh, we all know here on seltzer nation for seltzer Sunday uh, if you can't really make a good lime seltzer you need to you need to step away from the game next going with this uh, lemon agave hibiscus um, I don't think we've had a flavor like this yet on Seltzer Sunday, so eager to see what this tastes like. Thirdly, 
this is the melon basil, uh, another flavor that we haven't quite sampled on the, this uh, this show either. So another flavor we're eager to get our thoughts on, and I'm sure you are too. Lastly, this is the uh, cucumber peach. Now we did peach with uh, the Austin Sea East Ciders last last week, but uh, we haven't uh, paired it with the cucumber flavor as well. So. Um, I'm not sure what to expect as far as pairing these with our foods yet, but that's what we're going to do for you a little bit later. Tune in. All right, the grill started. We're going live here with the shrimp and the frog legs. Vinny's uh, actually going to be sampling this uh, melon basil while we're uh, grilling here, so we'll get back to you in a second. Okay, we're back here. The uh, grill is live, y'all. We got the frog legs. Melon basil by Wild Bass and Boozy. Uh, what do you think so far, Vinny? You know what? You know, I'm going to give this an 8.1. Yeah. You know, but, uh, like, uh, before I say that, yeah, you have to like uh, watermelon flavor because you definitely get that uh, watermelon initial taste and then it kind of goes away and you just get the sparkling water. So, uh, if you don't really like watermelon, it's probably not for you. But uh, I'm definitely um, going to say that I would I would recommend to grow with this. You know, it's good for being outside, uh, very refreshing. Mm, yeah, 8-1, eight 8-1. One, eight one. Yeah, I, um, I can't disagree. Uh, the only thing I can't taste is maybe the basil, but I'm okay with the melon flavor, I think. And if the basil is in there, it's probably dampening the melon flavor a little bit, but... I like this. I think it's great by the grill. We got good weather today. Feels good. Feels good. Uh, for now, I'm going to give this a 7.75. This is great. Um, this is the first sample of this um, original pack by Wild Bass and Boozy. But uh, go, uh, yeah, if you're interested in melon and basil together, get one of these. Um, also, the aftertaste is great. It tastes just like a sparkling water or seltzer should taste. Need the second rating of the day, so we're going with what we think is this a lemon agave hibiscus. While well, Mason Boozy here again, we think this is another uh, flavor that you should probably have while you're grilling. Now, it may not pair well with the food, but it's something to have while the grill is live and firing. It's a light lemon. I I taste a little bit of the agave and hibiscus, but the combination is really good. It's very refreshing. Um, it's not too sweet, not too uh, tart either. Um, a little more bubblier than the, the one we have with the melon base. Yeah, basil. But it, it's a little bit more filling. I, I um. I could grill with these, but I, I can't, can't have a lot of them. No, I can't have a lot of them. You know, one or two while you're grilling and mm -hmm. with the shrimp, with the burgers. Um, definitely something I'd have uh, after a meal. Yeah, like maybe a good port. Just a good port. Yeah, a good port seltzer. You're, you're not into the ports. You don't want to spend the money, money on a port. Yeah, grab yourself an lemon agave hibiscus while base and boozy. It uh, helps you digest just like a port. One other fun fact for y'all, this is 100 calories, one gram of total carbohydrate. So for all y'all looking to get that late summer body, this is this is it for you. Uh, we've had a lot of other ones that are probably more like on the 10 to, to 5, so uh, go grab this as soon as you can. What are you giving it for a uh, rating, Vinny? I'm going to give this one a 8.5. 8.5. Wow. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I like it a lot. Okay. It's kind of... Uh, you know you wouldn't drink a lot of them. Probably wouldn't drink a lot of them, but I like it a lot. H5. Great. Um, I I like the flavor. It actually tastes like um, if anyone's into, into like the Sprite Zero or Seven Up Zero, or, uh, you like that flavor. That's the initial flavor I got. Uh, I'm gonna give this. Uh, this is a seven point nine. This is this is good. I uh, definitely drink. I drink a lot of these. Uh, I think I could uh, have these. 
before the barbecue and after the barbecue and the ends of the after party. So, pick it up. Let us know what you think. All right, everyone, the grilling's done. Uh, Chef Bora V grilled up some badass shrimp, badass sausage, badass frog legs. Uh, we're about to sample this with our last two candidates. So uh, we decided to, to sample the um, cucumber peach, and then uh, we're bringing you the classic line a little bit later. But first, I want to introduce uh, a new guest to the show. This is Whitley Collier. Hi. She's uh, from the Dallas area, uh, originally from East Texas, but... Uh, so she's coming here today to uh more she's more of a wine connoisseur i'd say right yeah definitely wine connoisseur red rosé white all the any, above any fermented okay bread. what about bagged wine franzia yeah, no. Le left that in college i mean not even <laughs> not even college. uh so, Food so sangria. oh yeah there you go uh, so seltzer wise, how long have you been j enjoying the seltzers? Uh, do you have one that you go to originally or, or usually, or you have been trying new ones or tell us a little bit about that. I would say for about three years, uh, one of my best friends works for Budweiser. So I get to test out a lot of things. Ah, so you had the Bud Light out. seltzer before it was even on the market. Yeah. Yeah. what do you think about that one? It's actually pretty good. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's better than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, 6 um, out of 10, 7 out of 10 on average, or what do you think? I mean, because my friend works there, I'll give it at least a 7.5. Oh, okay. Great, great. Yeah. All right, so we're going to sample this uh, Wild Basin Cucumber Peach. As you can see here, this is a, our third, it'll be our third sample of the day. And we're going to pair it with our sausage, raw legs, and shrimp. So we're going to get back to you pretty soon and see what we think about it. Um, cucumber peach while basin boozy. We're gonna talk about it with and without food, but um, first of all, let Vinny start us off. Okay. So you really taste the peach flavor for yeah. sure. Um, uh, it doesn't go away; it stays. So if you, if you like peach, then I think you'll really like this one. If if not, then Probably not the choice for you. Um, I'm gonna go with probably um, a 5.5 on this one, just because it's um, it's it's got a lot of that peach, and I think to me it's just a little bit too much peach for me, mm -hmm. um, a little too a little too sweet. But at the same time, uh, it does taste good with the food. Uh, mm -hmm. It tastes really good with the the, the wild boar sausage. So. Um, Maybe if you if you want to eat uh, if you want to eat something with this, maybe something a little spicy. Yep. Um, uh, Gamey doesn't hurt, but you know whatever you like. Great, so five point five, five point five. All right, Willie. Okay. Same thing. This is your inaugural <laughs> score and review for on Seltzer Sunday. So, so it's uh, it's okay, and you you can if you feel like you're higher or lower, it doesn't matter. Uh, you're right no matter what. I know, I usually am, but for this. <laughs> the cucumber peach. Do y'all taste the cucumber at all? I haven't tasted it. I didn't really. Cucumber. No, no. I got a lot of peach. It's very strong. It tastes like the peach gummios. If mm. you've ever ever had those, like that's exactly what it yeah, tastes like. Spot on. I'm just, going to the candy store now. Not as sugary, but like that's all I taste. So because I don't really like that artificial flavor, I gotta go like a four point three. Four point three. Four point three. All right. Hey. It's a, we're all over the place here, but it's okay. This is Seltzer Sunday. It's the Seltzer Nation. You can drink it however you want. I'm just one person. I'm still going to drink the rest of it, though. Yeah. Hey, if it gets put in your hand, you'll probably drink it. It's better than the, the lifted libations, folks, for any of y'all who saw the Denver episode. That was, don't ever even drink that for free. Okay. So, uh, the peach flavor is there. It is. Drinking it alone, I, I'm not sure I'd drink a lot of them just with how peachy it is. A little too artificial and peachy, but I've been taking a, a bite of these sausage. No, no, uh, um, no additives to it, but you drink this with the cucumber peach. I think you're usually at a 6.0. Um, this is something you're going to eat with. 
It paired well with the food. I wouldn't drink this alone by itself at the pool all day, but yeah, it's a 6.0. So very good for Iceland, so they're like, yeah, this is like Europe. For sure. This is making fun of Europe. So like. Okay, last one, folks. This is uh been an awesome review. We've had the food. <laughs> Would you say it's a lime a dozen? Lime a dozen, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it here first. It's eight on the uh, the Seltzer score rating. So go get yourself some Wild Basin Boozy, the original pack. I don't think you'll be disappointed in any flavor. We uh, had some good uh, good flavors today. You can grill out with it. Uh, good substitute instead of maybe your Budweiser, Bud Light, Coors, Coors Light. Mm -hmm. So cheers. Cheers. Another great Seltzer Sunday here. What up, Seltzer Nation? This is Pat Other Padre Pat again, yeah. bringing to you my special, my specialty seltzer, sampling seltzer. Today we did the grilling edition. We had the shrimp. We had the frog legs. The wild fried that is. And we had the sausage. But overall, we got to sample all of them together. Uh, we gave you some we thought you probably want to have while you're grilling, while you're just uh, hanging out waiting for the food to cook and then some while you're eating so overall the winner today uh definitely the uh this is the melon basil this one definitely had the best flavor flavor profile and wasn't too much just uh wasn't too much for you um also like this lemon agave hibiscus uh go so these are the top two out of this pack overall though but eating wise a cucumber peach and the lime aren't bad at all uh i'd go get this pack if you're looking to, to uh, diversify and uh, try a different uh, version of seltzer. So 
Cheers, y'all. As always, hit me up, DM me with any uh, ones uh, I need to add to the list. I think I uh, uh, still have some that I hadn't got to. I think there's some Bon Viv's and some Heinies I need to get out there. But as 